Hello everyone, welcome to Cassiano Easy Math. In this video, we have here two given tangent circles with the radius of the bigger circle as 10 units and the distance of point of tangency between these two circles is 16 units. And in here, in this video, we're going to solve for the radius of the smaller circle. And so first, we're going to label the centers of this circle as A and the bigger circle as B, and, and the point of tangency of the smaller circle as C at this point, and the bigger circle D. And so next we're going to project a line from the center of the smaller circle to the point of tangency at point C, the same way from the bigger circle at point B to point D. And here based on the circle theorem, the angle between the radius and the tangent is always 90 degrees. So this means this angle over here is 90 degrees. The same way on here. Next, we connect the centers of the circle. That's through the point of tangency between the two circles. So now we have line segment AB. And this part right here, to the point of tangency from the center of the uh, bigger circle, that is 10 units. And from the center of the smaller circle to the point of tangency between the two circles is R. And segment AC is the same R, radius of the smaller circle. Segment BD is the same 10 units. That is the radius of the bigger circle. Next is we construct a line parallel to CD from point A towards segment BD. Now let's designate this point as point E. And so from here, if you notice, since line segment AE is parallel to CD, that means they have the same length, 16 units, right? So we have these both lines parallel. And this means this is 90 degrees also. So these are all 90 degrees. So next, we're going to isolate the right triangle, A, B, E. So we have here the isolated triangle, A, B, E, or A, E, B. We have here, A, B is the sum of the radius of the two circles, 10 and R. So A, B is 10 plus R. Inside AE that is parallel to CD that's 16 units. And here side BE is the difference between the radius of the bigger and smaller circle. So this is 10 minus R. So this 10 minus R. And since this is a right triangle that means this angle right here is 90 degrees. So we can now use the Pythagorean theorem to find for the value of R. From the Pythagorean theorem, we have the formula C squared equals A squared plus B squared, where C squared or C is the hypotenuse of the right triangle. So we can designate this as side C. And AE, we can designate it as side A and BE we can designate this as side B by using Pythagorean theorem on our triangle we have C squared is 10 plus R is squared equals A squared is A is 16 so that's 16 squared then plus B squared is 10 minus r is squared. Simplify the equation. 10 plus r squared is 10 squared is 100 plus 2 times 10 times r, that's 20 r plus r squared. So this is from the square of the sum of two numbers. That is a plus b squared is the same way as a plus b 
times a plus b. So here, a times a is a squared, plus the sum of the product, both of these terms, is a times b, plus a times b. So that's plus twice, so two twice of a, b. Then plus b times b, that's b squared. Back to our equation. On the right hand side, 16 squared is 256 plus square of the difference of two numbers. So we have here the formula that is a minus b squared is the same as a minus b times a minus b. So by doing foil in here, we have a squared and plus the sum of the product of these terms, a b, that's negative a b, negative a b, and then plus negative a b again, and then minus b squared, so that is plus b squared. So we have here a squared, we have minus a b minus a b, so minus 2 a b plus b squared. So we'll be using this formula for this term. So a squared here is 10 squared, so that is 100. And then minus 2 times a b, a is 10, b is r. So 2 times 10 is 20, it's 20 r b squared is r squared, right? Negative r squared, that will be positive r squared. So that's plus r squared. Considering our equation, if you notice, we can cancel this 100 right here on both sides. And we have r squared on both sides. Cancel. So we ended up with, on the left hand side, we have 20r equals 256 minus 20r. Simplifying this equation further, moving 20r to the left, so we have 20r plus 20r equals 256. So this is 40r is equal to 256. So r is equal to 256 over 40. So r is 256 divided by 40 equals 6.440 units or 6.4. Our final answer. And so that's all for now. And for those new to my channel, I would appreciate it if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Hit that notification bell so you get updated whenever I upload new videos. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.